Washi tape is a decorative tape that's easy to tear by hand and reposition on nearly any surface without harming it. It's often very colorful and used mostly to decorate things like journals, gifts, cards, labels, and more. Washi tape is really easy to use and it's becoming increasingly popular with crafters all over the world as they discover its many uses. I wanna show you some of my washi tape here. So here are just a few of these. These are some that I've had for a little while. And so washi tape um, is really, it's little <laughs> usually, um, and looks like this. And it is a pretty delicate, thin tape. Let me pull off a, a little piece of this here so you can see. And it looks like this, right? Sometimes it's just a solid color. Sometimes it has a pattern on it. The top is, and it's you know just um, not sticky and the underside is sticky and it comes right off the roll just like this and it tears by hand so super super easy to use and like I said you can put it onto nearly anything and it will not harm it so I can put it right here on my mat and take that off later and it won't leave any residue so washi tape actually came out this is a really cool story Washi tape, washi tape came out in 2006 in Japan um, when some crafters like us <laughs> in Japan made a book out of masking tape by a company called MT. They wrote to the, uh, that company, MT, and asked if they could do a factory tour, and then they convinced them to make more masking tape in fun colors and patterns. The company agreed, and washi tape officially came out in 2008. I love this story because the crafters made this happen. Right, so it's a made of a delicate, lightweight material. Tradi traditionally, it was made of washi, which some people think of as rice paper, but it's actually mulberry paper. But these days, most washi is made of hemp or bamboo. It's water resistant, but not waterproof, so you don't wanna soak it, as that will weaken its adhesive. But um, it is commonly misunderstood to be rice paper. I wanna actually show you what rice paper looks like so that you know. I have some here. I, I don't show this often, so forgive me if I <laughs> am awkward about it. But so this is a uh, very old. I got this. It is, oh my goodness, I forgot the name of it, but it's uh, a money envelope. I didn't know that when I got it, but I got this for winning a contest when I lived in Japan in 1987. And it was a sake tasting contest. Some people might know this story. I've told a few people the story. Um, I'd never had sake before, but I was in this contest for sake tasting. And lo and behold, I won this contest and I was given this big trophy, a lot of sake. We won't talk about that in this envelope. Well, I thought this envelope was really pretty. I'm like, ooh, you know, I was like 19 years old. I didn't know very much at the time. <laughs> And I took it home and I put it on a shelf and forgot about it. And one day I was watching TV and I saw someone that had an envelope like this, which is made of rice paper, traditional rice paper. And in the TV show, I saw them open it and inside they found money. And I ran over to my rice paper envelope. And let me show you, this is old, so it's a little, it's, it's seen better days. But this is, this is the original. I kept it because of course I would. There's no, the money is not still in it, but I ran over and I, and I just want you to see the rice paper because it's really very, really cool. And this is, again, this is mulberry. We just call it rice paper, but it's not. Um, it's actually made of more than just mulberry too. But anyway, so I open it up and inside, inside actually, I think I'm opening it up wrong. No, I think it's right. Inside here, here we go. <laughs> there was money. It was like $500 US. So this was a very big deal to a 19-year-old in 1987. And I never knew that I had won it. Can anybody read this? I used to be able to. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so um, uh, that this is what rice paper looks like. And obviously, it can be thinner than this. Um, and again, it's not rice paper. So while washi tape is not really made of washi anymore, it's still a pretty lightweight and it's rather unusual material. It's not, it doesn't feel like paper, right? It feels um, more like, oh, I don't, it's paper because it, you know, it tears really easily by hand, 
but it's more like, it feels more like a film. It's really quite smooth, right? It's really quite smooth, but really very lightweight. And I really love how, you know, you can stick it on something and it just peels right off without leaving anything, right? So the adhesive on washi tape is low tack, pressure sensitive. And so unlike other glues and adhesives, it won't form a chemical bond with the surface. So you can put it down and remove it and it comes repositions really easily. That also means it's not the strongest adhesive. So it's more of a decorative tape than one that provides any real strength. So it's a little like, a little like scotch tape, except that scotch tape is made of plastic and washi paper is made of more of a natural material. Washi tape also bears some resemblance to masking tape, except it's really a lot thinner and it's not really meant to mask anything out like say paint. Now washi tape can stick to lots of surfaces, not just my mat, but also paper, glass, wood, metal with no residue. And washi tape comes in a variety of sizes, everything from, and here's my washi tape here, so you can see a little space here. It's not quite as organized as it could be, but we, but I've made some attempt. Greg has cut some PVC pipes that I have put my washi tape onto here, but it comes in different sizes. So uh, this is about, I would say five millimeters on just under a quarter of an inch. This is about the smallest and it goes, typically it can go up, you know, we can get some thicker ones, but this is the normal size, about a half an inch, right? And I got many of these in different places. I got these from Michaels. Michaels actually has a wonderful collection of washi tape. This is all Recollections brand. They have these awesome collections here. They're fun to collect. They're so small. They don't take up a lot of space. They feel good, right? It's like, I, I know that there's plenty of people who get craft supplies to just get them. Washi tape is probably one of those for me. I don't use a lot of it. Um, it's nice to have it when I need it. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not very expensive. So it's really easy to be like, ooh, look at this one. I need this one. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so um, I've also, I got these here from Amazon, right? All of these here. And even though it's got foil on it, you can still tear it by hand. That's important to know. And you can also get it from Barely Art. So for those of you who know I love Barely Art glue, um, they sell really cute washi tape. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, so this is Barely Art. You can find them over at jennifermaker.com slash Barely Art. I think I have a link to them. Yes, jennifermaker.com slash Barely Art. If you put in Jennifer Maker, they'll give you a 10% discount. That is my affiliate link too. And um, anyways, look at these adorable, really pretty colored washi tapes that they have here. The Macaroon Mix, the Glitter Goodies, and the Shiny Sherbird, right? So washi tape is fun. Um, and it's small, it's cute, and feels good. And we have been using, today we used uh, washi tape to decorate our jars, our mason jars, right? And I have an amazing tip on how to get your washi tape straight. That'll be in tonight's video. And I also wanna show you a couple more things that I've used washi tape for, because you might be like, okay, great. I'm gonna get some washi tape for this project. What else can I do with it? Because you can do a lot. So let me take off my tape here. I have some things I can show you. So first, journaling. Uh, it's a big one. So uh, you can use it just for, oh, let me put this away too. There we go. So you can just use it for cu cuteness in your journal, organizing things. Um, I, this is an example here. I did do all of these things. Look at this one up here, realtors. Something exciting is coming. <laughs> I will explain all of that when we get there. Anyway, so. Um, it's really fun to do in journaling if you like to journal. Um, something else that you can use washi tape for is making really easy tabs. I made some of these this morning so I could show you. You put them anywhere, right? Like say you're, you have a, you're working on a book or whatever. You just take a piece of tape and you just stick it there on the side and it makes the easiest tabs ever. There's, it's so easy to just go like this and go right to what you want to. And this is... Uh, one of our, this is my bathroom remodel project from a few years ago. 
I keep a lot of random things in this book here. Something else that you can do with washi tape is gift giving. And I have one here to show you. So here is a gift that we have here at the studio. It's using one of our bows. This is, I forget which bow this is. Um, well, we have a whole tutorial on bows and this, this is one of them. But we've used the washi tape here to decorate it. So this is a really easy way to decorate a package. You don't have to tape it in place because it already has its adhesive, right? So these shiny ones, washi tapes right here, like this, let me show you. These are wonderful for decorating packages because they're all festive and shiny. You can get them in all sorts of colors and finishes and patterns, and you can really make some cool things. It doesn't have to be stripes. You can do all sorts of things, right? And one other thing I want to be sure to tell you about. Oh, something else I use uh, that I actually love to use washi tape for is my shadow boxes. And I don't have one to demonstrate for with you, but I can give you a little preview of something. So this is a shadow box. And one of the issues with a shadow box, oops, stuck out of my drawer here. Let me, let me hover, I'll show you what it looks like here. So one of the issues with a shadow box is that when you turn on your lights, and it's uh, blinking here, let's fix that. There we go. Uh, when you turn on your light, sometimes you'll get a glare around the edges of your design, right? You'll be able to see your lights here. And if you, um, like that bugs me. <laughs> I don't like seeing the edge of my lights here. Now this design is ready to go and then it takes that into account so you don't have to worry about it. But I don't like it doing that, sorry. We need to not, because I don't want it to flash like that. There we go. Um, but yeah, if you um, have an issue with your lights showing at the edges of your shadow boxes, you just open it up and you put a line of washi tape right around the edge and it blocks the light and also looks really cute at the same time. So I uh, will often use washi tape so that I can block out light and stuff like that. So there's lots of things that you can do with washi tape. And there's one more thing that's really cool that I want to show you. You can actually make your own. So there is a fairly new product out. Let me take off my washi tape right here before we continue. There we go. And it's called We Are Memory Keepers Printmaker. And it lets you print and you can make washi tape. And I have it. They, they sell washi tape rolls right here. And so you can print your own designs and make your own washi tape. And it's this little printer. It looks like this, so you can see. It's so cute, right? And um, it has it comes with this. The kit comes with ink cartridges and everything. And there's also a guide that you need to have. It looks like this, and it's called um, Printmaker Ribbon and Washi Guide. And it lets you line up your washi tape or your ribbon because it can do ribbon too, so that it stays nice and straight. And then you just print it, right? and it goes right over. I wish I could demonstrate it for you, but I just got it. So it's a new toy, so I haven't tried it yet, but you can just you know, print right over it like this, right? So it's super cool. So you could make your own washi tape too. There are other ways to do it too. You can always just make a design and print it out onto like sticker paper or something as well. So yeah, so let me know in the chat what questions you have and I will do my best to answer them. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, let me know. Do you guys have any questions about washi tape? It's not a super deep topic, but I know that when... So I lived in Japan in 1987 and 1992, 93, before there was washi tape. So when people started talking about it, I'm like, what the heck is that? I mean, I know the word washi, <laughs> um, but tape? You know, like, I mean, I lived in a house that had... Um, rice paper doors, right? So I'm more than familiar with, a, with, with what washi is, but the idea that there was tape was a little crazy. So I, for the longest time, I just am like, I don't know what that is. I don't know. So uh, I don't think I really um, started using it until maybe around 2000 and 
16, 2017. So I'm a, I feel fairly new about washi tape, but I have a collection. I think it's cute. I like it. Uh, okay. MT says, is that washi tape strong enough to keep wrapping paper on the gift? Yes, it is strong enough for that. What it's not strong enough for is for like anything that's structural. Like I have, and my daughter, we have both <laughs> attempted to like tape things where we actually needed it to hold. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, I think one time it, we were like suspending something from the ceiling. <laughs> Another time it was something else, something where you needed some actual strength. And it, initially it seemed it worked, but over time the adhesive just wasn't strong enough to hold it and it fell down. But for a gift, absolutely. Uh, Japanese wrapping, which is famous, um, definitely uses washi tape to, uh, to tape it as well as, you know, regular magic tape too. Can you use washi tape to decorate cards? Yes, you totally can. That is one of the many uses of washi tape. People use it on their walls. They decorate anything. So I've seen people that decorate books, pens, cards. Um, they'll make, you can make artwork out of it. You can use it in your paintings. There's so many things that you can do with washi tape. Because it goes on nearly anything and it's easily removable without leaving any residue, it really makes, it's really versatile and so cute. I mean, it's just, I love all the colors that it comes in and all the patterns. It's just really neat. Uh, what is the best brand of washi tape? Yeah, I have no idea, but I know that that company in Japan that made the original washi tape, MT, I know they still make it. So I would give them the credit for making the best because they're the ones that are developed it, right? I know they still make it. I saw some of it on Amazon. I wish I could have ordered it. Uh, and I still can, but I just couldn't get it in time for this video. But other than that, I don't know because I, I, you know, I'm more than happy with my Michaels brand and my Amazon brands, right? So it, I haven't had any major issues, in fact, with any of it. Um, I'm sure that there is someone out there that's better than others, though. Um, okay, any other questions? I've had issues with washi tape sticking. Is there a way to fix that? Well, then it's a pretty low tech adhesive, right? So um, if actually that's a really good point. So for example, let me give you, oh yes. So with this one here, this project, let me show you. So we put washi tape on the rim here to make it look nicer, but it definitely is having an issue right here. You see here? is coming off right here. But so, but I want it to stay here. And when I push it down again, you know, because it's pressure activated, pressing it down again fixes it, but it will come off. And then probably it's related to the fact that it's on itself. And this is glitter, <laughs> like the tail end of it. Let's find the tail end of it again. Here it is, right? It's got a little bit of an overlap right there. You see, right? A little overlap. So be, glitter is a really notoriously difficult surface to stick anything to. So likely if I were to trim it right there, it would stick better, but I can also just glue it down so that I don't have it come up again. Right. So, but yes, it's because it's such a low tack tape. Um, it won't, it's not the super stickiest thing either. So my suggestion is that if you're putting onto something and it's coming off, Get yourself just run a really thin line of glue. Barely art glue would be perfect for this. And then just, you know, stick it down and then it'll stay there permanently. Diane says, can washi tape be made dishwasher proof on a glass? No, um, unless you encased it in resin or something like that, right? And that's a whole other ball of wax. So if you encased it in something that's dishwasher safe, then you could. But by itself, without any kind of sealant or protective cover on it, it will not survive in the dishwasher. It is um, water resistant, but not waterproof. I mean, it's made of different types of paper, right? So it'll just disintegrate and, and if you soak it in water. What brand is the washi tape printer? The washi tape printer is by We Are Memory Keepers and it's called Printmaker, right? I got it at Michael's. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I'll link it below this video for anyone who's watching this later, but it's called We Are Memory Keepers and it's called Printmaker. It came out last year, I think, 
And I just got mine, so I haven't had a chance to play with it. It looks cool. Like, and it's not just for making washi tape and ribbon. It's for actually printing anywhere that normally you wouldn't be able to. So, you know, you could, yeah, you could put this on paper, but you can put that into your printer <laughs> if you have a printer. But like you could put it onto shoes, you could put it onto your wall, you could put it onto unusual things that just aren't going to fit in a printer, but you want it to look printed. So that's what this is about. There's, a, there's lots of really cool videos that it comes with an app. I want to know that the app works on iPhones, um, iPads, and Android phones only. It doesn't work on an Android tablet, as far as I know, and it doesn't work on a desktop. So you would need a mobile device for this. Um, and, it, you'll need, and it powers off of USB. But really neat. So here's some other things it can do. Sherry says, does any size washi tape work on the acrylic discs for the light project? Does any size washi tape work on the acrylic discs for the light project? Do I have my acrylic, acrylic discs here? I don't see them out right now, no. Um, it depends on how you want to use them. Are you trying to decorate the edges? Is that what you're doing? I would, because if you are, I wouldn't recommend that because the light shines through the acrylic and lights up all the edges. So you want, you don't want to restrict the light. Well, you know, unless you're going to keep the bottom free from tape. The washi tape is lightweight. I wouldn't say it's opaque, however. That's a great thing, actually. Let me show you. So here is our yellow. Let's put something underneath it. So you can see, right? So actually in this light, it looks like it's opaque, but it really, it really is kind of see-through, right? It's very light. Um, so if you were to put this over something and shine light through it, you would get yellow light rather than no light. So just a, something to keep in mind, right? But what I did on my shadow boxes when I was trying to block the light, I used one that had a foil because the foil ones are um, more opaque, I've noticed. So I don't remember exactly which one I used, but one like this, these are a lot more opaque and you can't see through them as well. So these work really well. And they also look super classy in the shadow boxes. Bobby says, what is the washi tape setting on the Cricut used for? Do you cut it on the wash? On the, do you cut it on the Cricut? So Cricut actually sells washi tape sheets that you can cut. They're full sheets. Let me see if I can find one for you on Amazon. I wish I had one of these to show you, but I could show you on Amazon. One moment. Well, I mean, I can just show you my, my website. Here we go. So Cricut washi sheets, they're called. And here's what they look like. And so they actually um, go on your Cricut mat, they have a backing, right? So you can cut them in different shapes and then you can do whatever you want with them. So they're actually, it's a full sheet, right? It's not just a, um, it's not just, so it's kind of like a sticker paper almost, but it's the lightweight of washi. So that's what the setting is for. Uh, but some people like to use that setting on their Cricut for other things that are very lightweight too. So, but that's uh, Cricut designer washi sheets for scrapbooking. So it's available and you could get that too if you wanted. All right. I think that I've answered all your questions. I hope you found this useful. Remember, if you're going to try out the printmaker, you need to, to also have the ribbon and washi guide, and then you'll want the printable washi rolls that come like this. And they're in different sizes, by the way. I want, I don't know if you noticed that they're actually these tiny ones up here and these thick ones here. So I'm going to play with this and I'll report back about um, how well it worked or not. So I think that's it. I hope that you found uh, my washi tape presentation useful. <laughs> if you have any questions about washi tape that you think I can answer, because I'm not an expert, just, a, just an aficionado, uh, let me know or come on over to our crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. We would love to help you. We have lots of people who use washi tape in their crafts. <laughs>